Hello, today we're going to be uh, working in Microsoft Access. So here's Access here. It's on uh, my quick uh, references. You can also go into All Programs, uh, Microsoft Office. I'm going to be using Microsoft Office 2013. Access is right here, so it's with the, the uh, usually the, the red with the big A on it here. So we're going to select that, open it up. In 2013, it comes up and it gives you the option of creating different types of databases. Um, the one we're going to be using is going to be the blank desktop database. In 2010 and 7, it's just going to say, you know, create blank database is what it's going to give you. So, um, so go ahead and click on blank desktop database. And it gives you the option right then to name your database. So we're going to go ahead and name this one uh, address book okay um, and then and it'll it'll save it right here it says it's saving it in my documents file so you want to make sure you're gonna save it somewhere where you uh, can then take it once you've done it all the work in it and move it to blackboard and so um, just make sure you save it out there whether it's your sky drive or your shared drive on the uh, on the college network somewhere that you can get to it again and work from it again because you may not get this all done in one sitting so so anyway so I'll, I'll go ahead and save it it's gonna be in my documents here and we're gonna say create okay so what what uh, it does is it opens up the database the first thing it's gonna show is gonna be a table and so this table the table is the foundation, okay, um, and it builds from there. So the table is where all the data is kept in the database. Uh, I'm going to show you the first step is going to be structuring your table so it's able to keep all the data that you want to you want to keep. So we're going to be doing an address book. So the kind of data that we're going to be uh, entering into the database is going to be uh, last name, first name, street address, city, state, zip, uh, phone, and birth month. And so we need to structure the table so it can capture all this data. So um, with any of the objects you're going to be working with, uh, when you're going to have this up to the upper left hand corner, you're going to have the views. Okay, so this is important. So if you do the drop down, you can see all the different views that you can uh, use with the particular object. The table, you can use data sheet view, which is basically like a spreadsheet. It's going to let you see all the data in your in your table. The design view, we'll go ahead and click on that, is going to allow you to see um, the design or the structure of the table. So we're going to have to name this table, so we're going to go ahead and name it address uh, book so we're gonna have a table named address book within our database that's named address book so don't get confused there so we're gonna hit OK so there we see the table change from table 1 to address book still we're still in uh, so we switched over now to the data sheet view or the design view I should say so so this is data sheet view this is design view Okay, so in design view, we see we have one field. It's the auto number, the the ID, um, and we can uh, uh, you can research a little bit more and see what the uh, primary key is about. I might talk about it a little bit later as we do some of the queries and reports. Um, the next field down. So here we're going to add our fields in right here. Okay, so and another way to think about the fields in the database is they're kind of like columns in a spreadsheet okay so so the the different columns are kind of like that not exactly but it's close so so we're gonna add a last name underscore I use underscore that's a common thing to use in database language uh, a lot of times the space will throw the database off so I, I put underscores in all mine so so you can do that as well um, so we see we have a short text field, um, which is which is great. We want it to be text. Uh, down here, you see that there is a field size um, option, 
and so we want to change that to 15. So last name 15. We're going to go ahead and put in uh, first name. Uh, I'm going to go through here real quick and add all these, and then we'll go back and and change the settings on them. A address and city. Oops. State. Zip. And phone. And birth. Whoops. Month. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go back here. So our, our last name had the correct setting on the field size. First name, we're going to want to change that to uh, 15. We're going to want to change uh, the street address. We're going to want to change that one to uh, 50. And what this does is it limits the amount of uh, basically letters, numbers, spaces, whatever f the, in that field. So. Um, for the most part, you know, you don't necessarily need this. Uh, on some things, if you want it to fit a certain format, like the state here that we're doing just now, if you want it just to be two characters, so like for example, Oregon is going to be OR, Idaho is going to be ID. If you wanted to keep that format, you're going to just put in, like for example here, we're going to put in two. So they can't spell out the whole state. They're going to have to put in those, those uh just two digit references to the state. Uh, zip is going to be 10. Phone, whoops, I messed up. Okay, I messed up. Here we go, sorry. But didn't get it in the right spot there. Zip is going to be 10 down here, there we go. And then our phone, uh, we're going to go ahead and make it 14. And we're going to do a little something different with the phone. So down here um, in input mask, we're going to click the, uh, the triple dot box over here to the right. It's going to give us some, okay, so we have to save our table, say yes. So it goes ahead and saves it again. We already named it, so that's good. So, so what the input mask is, it's going to allow us to save our phone number in, the, in this format. Okay, so it's going to put the the dash in and the and the spacings and everything that we want. So we're going to go ahead and do next. Uh, all that's good, and then we want to say uh, store data with the symbols. You can store it without the symbols. Um, this in this case we're going to store it with the symbols, um, and so we're going to go next and finish. So that will give us that formatting, the input mask. We'll see that as we create a form and go to input data. Okay, and then our field, uh, our for, for the birth month, we're going to just put three because we're going to just put in the, the three, kind of the abbreviated month there. Three digit, like for January, it's just going to be J-N, kind of a deal. Okay, so now we got our, our table set up. If we go back to the views here, we can go ahead and, either do the drop down arrow and pick the view or we can just go ahead and uh, hit this this button at the top and it'll you know, got to save it again it makes us save things as we go through here so we see the columns here we see the different fields we've put in so these are the the fields they're, they're called fields in the database language and not columns um, the records are going to be the, the rows so to speak so the uh, individual uh, data points that we're going to be putting in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and and uh, uh, stop here, and then we'll start again and and create a uh, a form. Okay, so now we've we've created our table. We have our table here, our address book table. Now what we want to do is create a form. So uh, first we, we close our address book table. You can use this X, the lower X here on the address book. We can close that. So we don't have anything open here. Uh, we select our address book so it's highlighted. You see it's, it's highlighted there. Um, so we click it so it's highlighted. And then we go to up to the, the Create uh, tab ribbon. Okay. 
we got create here you see all of the different objects that we can create in the database so starting with the, the tables queries forms reports uh, macros um, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a form so we have our address book uh, selected we're going to hit wizard what that does is that tells us uh, we're going to use the address book kind of data format we're going to create a form out of it the form uh, let me show you what it looks like here so this is the wizard go ahead and hit the double arrows it'll put all of the data points over as selected fields that's good um, where we're going to do columnar so that's good you can change the different formats here on how you want your data to to lay out but we're going to use columnar uh, and then uh, next, so so what do you what title do you want to give your form? Uh, we're going to put a address book, and I'm going to go ahead and do an underscore form on that, and then finish. Okay, so there's our form right there that we just uh, made with the wizard. Uh, you can also make this in Design View and and change it. So we have our views over here. So we have layout and design view where we can actually change the form, give it a new heading, colors, uh, add, uh, delete, and add fields, whatever. Uh, so we're, right now we're in form view. So uh, what I need you to do from here, so now that you got your form made, uh, we need to put input 15 uh, records. So 15 separate individuals. So like, for example, we're going to type in here uh, Jones, uh, George, you know, it can be anybody. It doesn't have to be real people, or it can be, you know, uh, made-up characters, whatever. And we're going to put in an address. <coughs> Rock Road and <coughs> City, uh, Ontario, Oregon, 97914. Phone is going to be uh, 541 one five six nine eight uh, and again we're just making up data here and then uh, our birth month is going to be January okay so that's our first record to keep adding records you can uh, oh, I was tabbing through there that'll move you to the next field um, you can when you're in the last field you can hit enter and it'll move, bring up a new field you can also use the navigation uh, buttons down here at the bottom the one all the way on the other side is the new record button, the one with the asterisk. It's, uh, it's a uh, right arrow and then an asterisk is, is the button you're going to want to push. And so it'll move, bring up a new one. See now we've got two of two is the records. So we're entering number two of two. So George is already in there. We can go back to him. And then, uh, then uh, we can go ahead and go to a new record and ent enter a new one. Uh, let's see, Jones, Irene, uh, and then we can we can enter it in. So you need to put in 15 of them. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a database here that I have uh, my data already in. And we're going to show you how to uh, create queries. And so we'll do that next.